Hi, I'm Phyllis. I'm Angie. I'm Maggie. And you're watching Word, Word of Mouth. Mouth. And that's my Rosie. I'm so glad she chose me. Life is one sweet, beautiful song to me. Now my life is rosy. Who would be happy, I know. Since I found my rosy. Off to the preacher we'll go. With a girl like Rosie. So how could we be, how could we be blue? blue? Bye Bye Birdie is about a rock star named Conrad Bernie who has been drafted into the army. And his manager, Albert, wants to dissolve the company, but he's in debt. So his secretary, who's also his love interest, Rose, decides that they'll write an amazing song in which before he goes off to the army, he'll kiss this teenage girl and they'll make money off and they'll be able to live happily ever after. Albert Peterson is played by John Stamos. I didn't know he could sing that well. My mom apparently said I should have known he could sing, but he was an absolutely wonderful singer and he was a really good leading man. I like him, so maybe I was drawn to him anyway, but he's very handsome, very smooth. He comes off beautifully, like he looks beautiful on stage. I think that he was a very pleasant Albert Peterson. He sang very nicely. He had a couple of things that he sang and it was very sweet and very nice. I'm really probably not the most objective person to ask, you know what I mean? But he really was very, very good. Rosie was played by Gina Gershon and she was awesome. She was feisty. She had a really strong voice. Every scene she was in, she was commanding the scene. She delivered. She did a good job. You know, she was vibrant and beautiful and, you know, spot on in her part. I enjoyed her. I was very disappointed in Gina Gershon. I didn't sense any chemistry with Miss Gershon and anybody in the cast, to tell you the truth. Uh, she looked beautiful in her red dress. She doesn't have any musicality in her. It's a musical. Kim McAfee was played by Allie Trim. She has such a beautiful voice. I'm jealous of her. She's my age and she's so good. She's darling. She sings beautifully. She acts very well. She cannot dance. Bill Irwin plays Mr. McAfee. Um, I don't know whether it's what I'm used to seeing him in versus this, but I thought that um, they directed him to try too hard in this part. Unfortunately, Mr. Irwin cannot sing. He was kind of trying to be really funny and it didn't come across so well. They padded his role with some of the movements that he is so well known for. They seemed gratuitous and not relevant to the script and not relevant to the character. That was worse. Everything was so like over the top on him and it didn't need to be because he's, you know, I mean, he's a good actor. So I felt like he was a little forced and wasted in the part. Jake Evan Schwenk was Randolph, the little brother, and his part wasn't big, but he's the cutest thing on Broadway. I just have to say that. Robert Hager is the understudy for Conrad Birdie, and he played the role, and he is riveting. He was awesome. He could do the show every night. He had the smoothness, and he had the silky voice that everybody falls in love with. I fell in love with him during the show. I understood what the teenage girls were screaming about. He was on fire. He was so excited. You could tell he was just, you know, like electrified to come and do the show. And you really could feel it. And he really embodied the character and really came through, you know, like really did a great job. The kids in the cast, the supporting cast, are fabulous. Wonderful. The minute they came on, you're all smiles. I really liked the way they displayed it. The set was awesome. There were lots of big pieces moving in and out. And it was very colorful. All the costumes were huge bursts of color. Everybody looked perfect, you know, like they were spot on with all the decorating and everything. It was really good. Overall, I enjoyed Bye Bye Birdie a lot. I loved it anytime the kids were on stage. It's their show. The, the grown-ups, I guess, have to be there because it's a grown-up story superimposed on a kid's story, but the kids are the show. I would totally tell my friends to go see it. It's a great show for teenagers and kids, and Probably people who remember the show from when it first came out and when the movies came out, too. It's just a lot of fun. I think everybody can appreciate that in the show. When you're getting older, you know, you get to see things a second time. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. It was nice. And I was comparing it definitely in the back of my mind to what I've seen before. And it measured up. It measured up. It had so much energy. It was a great revival. And everyone in the cast was bouncing around. It's just a really sweet show. And it's timeless. People that I know that are my, my age, uh, I would recommend it to. 
and they could bring their grandchildren or whatever they want to do. It's a musical you actually walk out and you put on a happy face as you're walking out because there's fun happening on that stage. So for someone to see a musical, yes, I think it's a good revival. Is it the strongest revival I've ever seen? Probably not, but it's a good revival. Lots of things, and I was so good.